How's it going, everybody? I just landed in Buffalo, New York about a couple hours ago. We're now in Erie, Pennsylvania. Uh, Going to be seeing a couple uh, clients here over the next week. I'm here in Buffalo area for about a week. Um, so I figured I might as well try to film a video of me eating and trying to lift over the next five days. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do either, so it's going to be kind of fun to figure that out. But hopefully can learn a few things I can share with you guys, so might as well document it. It's 1014. I'm eating a Pop-Tart uh, that I got out of the vending machine. Then I got packed my casein protein and regular protein. Uh, I'm gonna drink a casein shake right before bed, and then I'm gonna wake up early, go to a little hotel gym, and uh, it's supposed to be a push day, so I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna do some chest, shoulders, and uh, and triceps with just dumbbells, so that might be interesting. But yeah, gonna be a pretty busy week, so hopefully I can film stuff and not just recap at the end of the night. Uh, but we will see how it goes, and uh, I'm excited, so I will see you guys in the morning. All right, so just completed day two of travel, so um, I haven't been able to film anything. We've been on the go quite a bit, uh, just like really busy um, visiting clients and such, so it is about 8.30 right now, and I finally got some time that I found this gym, Blink Fitness, here in, outside of Rochester, New York, so uh, it looks pretty new. I don't know what to expect. It kind of looks like it's going to be kind of a planet fitness atmosphere. But I'm going to go in there. I'm going to try to film some stuff. I'm going to dictate that off of how I feel like the environment is, the atmosphere in there. And if I feel like it's acceptable. So after after I got done with the gym, I, I stopped at Chick Fil A, and I just got a grilled chicken sandwich, and then I also got a small cookies and cream shake. But now, yeah, we I got a back of the house. When the next time I'll, I'll, I'll vlog is, but um, I'll still try to keep up to date. We're we're going to Buffalo next for the next three days, so I don't know if I'll be able to find a gym there or not because we're still staying in an Airbnb. Um, so there might be another gym where I can kind of get a free day membership like I did today. Um, or I might just have to do something in the house. Either way, uh, we'll figure it out, but um, until the next time. Quick update here. Today is Friday, and the last time I talked to you guys was Tuesday when I was in Rochester that night. I have been completely swamped. We have been really busy trying to visit clients and driving and finding time to manage our other clients and it, it's just a lot and it was not what I was expecting I was hoping I'd be able to film a lot more um, and give you really more insight so I'm gonna take this time to kind of explain to you how I've done my workouts and how I've been eating so the hardest thing is deciding between an Airbnb and a hotel for travel right so with an Airbnb you get the amenities of a kitchen so you can go to the grocery store and buy uh, food for breakfast or for dinner and so you can make those meals maybe eat out once a day and be able to make those meals so you're still staying within your diet really would be good if you're cutting um, it'd be ideal right so right now I'm bulking so I'm not really 
I'm in the tail end of my bulk, so I'm not really as concerned about how accurate I am with my food intake, if that makes sense. So I'm not trying to be super diligent, but I'm in good reason, so I'm enjoying myself. With a hotel, you're not able to make yourself food. I mean, you have a microwave, maybe, and so you're able to do that, but you're gonna be eating out. So you take those two considerations. With a hotel, you do get a gym sometimes, and sometimes they can be really bad, and sometimes they can be pretty good. The one I had on Monday morning was pretty good. Dumbbells went up to 60, I think. Um, so I was able to get a good chest and shoulder workout with just the dumbbells. Um, I kept it really high rep, like 15, just because you know I really wasn't be able to put as much exertion on my body as I wanted to, but I was able to counteract that with high reps up to 15, uh, 12, 15. So that was good. Airbnbs, you don't get a gym, so that's the hard part. Is trying to finesse fitness like guest passes, or if you're in the same area, you can buy a, a week pass, and you know sometimes it's can be 15 bucks, sometimes like. LA Fitness last night, it was 50. I was under the impression that I was gonna get a five day free guest pass, and that is not true. So if you go to LA Fitness, you're not gonna be able to do that um, unless you live in the area code of that gym. Learned that the hard way, had to go through the whole membership talk tour, it took 30 minutes. I got to the gym at 8.30 and I didn't get to work out till not 9.05. So lady was super nice, no issues with her at all. It's just, I wanted to get the membership. The, I didn't want to get the membership, I just wanted the free pass. Didn't work out that way. But, lady was nice enough to let me work out, so I got a day there. And there were a couple other gyms I could try here, but I just was like, I was able to get three solid workouts in. One in Erie, uh, the hotel. Uh, I was able to get a good one in Tuesday night in Rochester. And then I was able to get a good leg workout on yesterday. So the way I look at it, if you can get three solid workouts in, if you're gone for five or six days, I think that's ideal. So, you know, I'm gonna get back tomorrow night around 6.30 and Sunday, so I can have those two days to kind of make up for what I've lost. And as far as diet goes, this has been a little harder. So we went to a few different restaurants. We had really good barbecue when we were in Rochester, a place called Dinosaur Barbecue. It's really good. Uh, last night we went to so Buffalo is where Buffalo Wings came about. So it was not Buffalo Wild Wings that started that. So we went to a place that was one of the first like founders of these Buffalo Wings and it was awesome. It's called Bar Bill Tavern. It's cash only, but it's it was super worth it. I mean, it's the best wings I've, I've probably ever had. So that was awesome. But other than that, like we haven't really been able to eat breakfast uh, or like lunch. So we've been getting like subs at these we're, so we're in like rural towns, so there's not much to eat. So like we're just getting sub sandwiches at either a gas station or like a small shop, and they're pretty good. But it's like we're eating the bulk of our calories at in at night. So I've relied on protein shakes that I've packed. I put them all in like seven, like I brought seven individual bags. I brought protein powder. I brought my protein powder, uh, my regular whey, and my casein. And uh, one tip. I guess is I've relied on Chick-fil-A and Chipotle uh, while traveling. Um, I'm sure there's uh, some other places I haven't really like tried out. Chipotle and Chick-fil-A are my staples. I mean Panda Express might be another one where you can make it pretty lean, uh, keep it like where you want to in calories. Uh, but yeah, Chick-fil-A can be really healthy and same with Chipotle. I mean you can make them super unhealthy, don't, like, don't get me wrong. Like I'm not saying they're, they're the perfect places because they're, they're not. It really depends on your preferences and how you really build out your meal. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Like I have uh, Chipotle. I just ordered it and went and brought it back to our Airbnb. I'm watching uh, the new Mark Wahlberg movie on Netflix. Spencer's, what did I even say? Spencer's Confidential. It's, it's really good so far. That's kind of catching you guys up on where I'm at, uh, how this week's been. Like, I really wanted to be able to post a lot more, but I think you guys kind of under understand it. If you have traveled for work before, how busy things can get and time gets away from you. But tomorrow, I'm getting up early and I'm going to go do something cool and I'm really excited about that. So make sure you wait for... For it. Make sure you wait for it. I said I was gonna do something cool. I didn't really think about it being 15 degrees outside, but 
Here I am. This is where Jim and Pam got married. And that's the most important thing here, but this is Niagara Falls. And that's Canada. This is, this is pretty breathtaking. I'm not gonna lie. I would like to come see it when it's not 15 degrees outside. That'd be sweet. And probably from the Canadian side because it looks like you can see a whole lot better. Yeah, so that's Niagara Falls. <laughs> Highly recommend don't come when it's 15 degrees. Come during the summer, but it's been a good time. So that's probably the end of this video. I'm about to get attacked. I'm gonna get circled up by squirrels. Hey!